subscribe? Excelsior! Oink! Subscribe, do not do what I said. Welcome to The Family Life. This channel is about homeschooling, homesteading, and everything related to the family. So today I wanted to quickly go over some freedom focus tools that I use in homeschooling. Um, I'm going to try not to get into too much detail, although it is definitely a topic with a lot of depth. So if you want more information or you want me to go into more detail in another video, let me know in the comments below. So before I get started, full disclosure, I'm Christian, I'm conservative, I um, I love my country. I think we have blessings and privileges of freedom that don't exist anywhere else in the world. My husband served in the military for 10 years. If any of that offends you, this video is probably not for you, but you're still welcome to watch. And if you are still interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So, first and foremost, Liberty Kids. This was a series on PBS when I was a kid, and it brings to life the um, the Revolutionary War and the events preceding it. So it's a good way for kids to sort of dip their toes into the water of early colonial history and um, uh, the difficult concepts of independence and freedom and uh, loyalty ties to England versus um, representation. So there's a lot of good depth in this and there's something for every age. I'm definitely getting more out of it as an adult than I did as a kid, but it was a good first introduction. With all of this stuff, um, I'm sure there's a lot of opinions and emotions, but just look for yourself. I think that's the best thing that we can always do is discuss and, and take an objective stance. Um, in tandem with Liberty Kids, I've been using the Good and the Beautiful Constitutional series, and that comes with a book called Mystery on Constitution Island. So this book is a fact-filled adventure story about a modern family that's going on sort of a treasure hunt and rehashing um, their knowledge of events in early America, um, specifically with the founding. And so far, it's keeping my kids interested. So I definitely like those two things together. And with the Mystery on Constitution Island, I got this book. This is U.S. Constitution and Government course book. Is family style so everyone can do it all at once obviously different ages are gonna get different things out of it um, but as I've been looking through this it's just so rich in detail in um, objective facts and dates and um, it even gives different interpretations of like the descending opinions on Supreme Court decisions so that you can see the different um, the different perspectives. Also, it doesn't shy away from anything. We've got the Dred Scott case, we've got slavery, we've got all of the, we've got all of American history. And that's what I really love about all of these things is that it's not one view. There's this gathering of information from different resources. Um, okay, so with the Constitution book, I've also got workbooks. I have two, I have this workbook for my older kids, U.S. Constitution Student Journal, which help, which follows along and it helps them write things down and gives extra insight and you go over the amendments and you go over um, different people. So it helps sort of cement the details and work things out and then discuss. And then for, I have two younger kids as well, I have four kids. For the younger ones, I got the U.S. Constitution Activity Book, and this has like word searches and coloring pages and connect the dots, different people, so that they can be busy as well. Um, I know that it's important for all of my kids to sort of feel like they get to do something and participate with each of the lessons. So that's fantastic. I haven't yet been disappointed by anything from The Good and the Beautiful. And then last is the Tuttle Twins. The Tuttle Twins are pretty incredible in that they take different um, classic works. So like, um, oh, this one, The Search for Atlas. This is based on uh, Ayn, Ayn, Rand, Ayn Rand's um, Atlas Shrugged, which I have right here. So this book, the concepts are broken down so that kids can understand. And we have different things spectacular show business, we go over entrepreneurship, we go over uh, the, mir the Miraculous Pencil, which talks about uh, what an economy is. Um, yeah, it's just, it gives the kids a, 
a broken down grasp of different concepts. So like the miraculous pencil. Someone has to have all of the equipment to get the gum and the uh, rubber for the eraser and then the little metal piece. I don't remember what it's called, but it's in there. And then someone has to do the, the lumber for the wood part of the pencil and someone has to mine the graphite for, you know, the lead part, the writing. And all of those pieces together create something bigger than what would have been than what anyone could do individually. And so that's sort of the whole point of the economy is that we create more together than we could on our own. Um, and with the Tuttle Twins, they have an animated series on YouTube, which my whole family loves. Uh, they have a lot of throwback 90s humor uh, for my husband. And he, he definitely laughs every time. And then it's cute and it's, um, it just has really amazing concepts. So like the last episode that we watched talked about civil disobedience and how just because something is legal, just because there's a law doesn't mean that something is right. For example, slavery used to be legal. That doesn't make it moral. And so if you have a um, moral objection to something, you sort of have a decision to make. You can follow the law because it's the law or you can be disobedient to the law, civil disobedience, and then you choose to face the consequences of whatever it is to break the law. Um, it allows kids to discuss difficult concepts in sort of a simple and easy way. Um, my son, after watching one of the videos, ended up getting into a discussion with the cashier at the food line about inflation and how if you print too many tickets, you'll have inflation. So that was his his takeaway, um, my five-year-old. So. Um, yeah, this is definitely a great place to start. Um, yeah, so again, that's Liberty Kids, The Good and the Beautiful, The Constitution Course, and The Tuttle Twins. There are so many resources. There's also a workbook that you can get with The Tuttle Twins. Um, it's just, it's really good stuff. I know some people will disagree and that's fine. I think disagreement is actually incredibly important. So if you do disagree, let me know why because I want to hear it. The children learn, then a green bottle fills up in the time machine, and then they can go. There's a time machine? Yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What do they do with that time machine? Go to different countries. They go to different countries. Who is your favorite character? The raccoon. There's a raccoon? Yeah. What's his name? Dare. What did you talk to the cashier about when we went to Food Lion? What did you tell her? Don't print any e tickets because uh, inflation is going to come up. So don't don't print any tickets because the inflation is going to come up. Uh, so yeah. what's the thing that you said something else? Inflation hurts the nation. Oh. Inflation hurts the nation. That's pretty good. The, inf the inflation. Did he make that up? I don't think so. I no. Know. I think that's from the show. Yeah. Uh, last thing that I want to say is for uh, freedom focused learning for parents and adults, I think there are three main books that everybody should read. Um, the first is Man's Search for Meaning. Man's Search for Meaning is about a uh, an Austrian psychologist, Viktor Frankl, who uh, was a Holocaust survivor. And his story in Man's Search for Meaning is absolutely transformative. So that's worth reading. The second book that I think everybody should read is Gulag Archipelago by Solzhenitsyn. Um, maybe saying that wrong, it's a Russian name, but that talks about the gulags in Russia. And again, it's just an incredible piece of history and it's something that everybody should understand how uh, propaganda works, how um, people are turned against each other, um, neighbor against neighbor, even f members of the family against each other. It's an important read, um, although long and maybe not easy. And then the third book, I'm torn. So I think Fahrenheit 451 is a really good book. It's for me, it was a little bit less graphic than 1984. And then um, honestly, anything by Thomas Sowell, anything by Thomas Sowell. He's probably my favorite author. I think he's a national treasure and extremely underrated. I can't believe how many people don't know his name. There's not enough good things that I could say about that man. He researches, the research that he does is just unparalleled. So Man's Search for Meaning, Gulag Archipelago, Fahrenheit 451, 
and literally anything by Thomas Sowell. So thank you for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts below. Um, if there's something that you use that you want to share, I would love to hear about it. I'm always looking for more resources and, um, and more stuff to teach my kids. So thanks. Bye. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs>